folks. Been busy today doing a little project. Uh, uh, had, I got this 850, as you know. Well, you don't know, but I got this 850 there last week, or sometime last week, and uh, it had an old AC cord on the back of it. It had no grommet on it. It was just tied into a knot and hanging out the hole in the back of her. That's it. Where the grommet was, of course, just literally pushed through there. Uh, so I ended up fixing that and put a uh, I put a grommet back there. Grommet was missing <laughs> before, and uh, what I also done I put a fuse on the AC side of the uh, of the transformer. There was no fuse on the AC side on on the transformer on this particular radio. Don't know why they would do that. It's just AC straight to the transformer, no protection whatsoever. But uh, right now I've got a uh, fuse holder inside, next to a label that says replace fuse with same type 3 amp. <laughs> so I got a 3 amp fuse put in there on the AC side. And another little add-on that I've done with this radio. I got it running right now on external DC power. I have it running on my old uh, pyramid power supply up here and uh, I got the regular three pin Cobra type of plug I guess you want to call it put up here in the back right below the uh, label as centered as I could possibly put it and that's where right now she's getting her power to and there's only one spot on the power supply that I could tap in to this to give it 12 volts when it's on external and I had to use the center pin of that transistor over here I'll just tie it in down here but it's on the center pin of the, this big bad boy right there because uh, you got a switch here your power switch but from what it looks like it, it's right here powered that's your switch right here turn that power supply on and off and basically it seems like to me what this switch is doing is switching ground and turns the power supply on or one part of the board anyways so <clears throat> then right here in red, and, in red and black those wires there go out to the power input to the power supply or to the radio so, I just took me ground, me black, I got it tied in right here, I got the black tied in to the negative on the circuit board, and the red again is tied in the center. So now what happens, if I didn't do that, if I just put the red, just red to red, black to black, what would happen is that the front of the display, front of the board, which is beyond, 23 would show the bolt or the light their meter would light up but uh, there would be a sound they turn around there would be a sound it's like half the radio was powered the other half the not it's kind of weird so I end up having to trace out the circuit a bit and run the red to the center of the transistor here and now I can turn off the radio with the power switch as normal so, I got Thomas there on the side. Go ahead there, Thomas. I was saying I'm back on the side. Alright, uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm just doing a little video now on the 850 and uh, a couple little modifications done to her there today. Over. Okay, 10-4 and that. Uh, how's everything working on your end? Boy, she seems okay. Uh, you're still giving me uh, a 7 over there. Uh, let's come back so you can see your see your meter in there or see your reading there in, in the video when you see it. Right on, yeah. And you're still giving me a seven there, so she's working tickety boo. No, I said you're. I said she's working tickety boo. Oh, okay, ten four, ten four. 
So there we have it. Now the only drawback with having the power here for external power is that <laughs> you got to make sure you disconnect the power from the back of the radio before you run AC, before you put her back on AC power. Because the input of the transistor over here is 24 volts and that's directly off the bridge rectifier. So if you try to <laughs> power the transformer up and you still got disconnect to a power, to a power supply, you're running 24 volts back into the power supply. <laughs> Yeah, that wouldn't be good, I wouldn't think. Uh, I should have a switch back here. I still may do that yet, but in any event, this is just a one drawback with it. But other than that, the best going. Anyways, I mean, for that matter, I suppose I could even put a put a circuit in here. Uh, that the radio when she's on she can actually charge a battery an external battery because I can have a 12 volt regulator in here running on a diode and resistor for cutting down on current and um, then she'll actually charge a battery so when the AC fails she's automatically puts power back to the radio but uh, anyways in any event so that's, the, that's, the, that's the fuse 3 amp fuse that I uh, put in today, a little fuse holder. They had that sticker down here, and no fuse. Weird. But the uh, 850 is an interesting radio. She's all circuit board, all the way across. She's a pretty compact little unit. Nice set, uh, nice radio. Anyways, that's it for the 850. I got her, uh, uh, I got her done the way I want to get her done. External power. I want a fuse transformer and that's done. So I'm gonna put the cover back on her and call her a day. Anyways, here we have it. A realistic TRC 850 running on external DC power. Gotta like it.